It still replays in your mind. We introduced you to Pete Bandero after he lost his foot in a rototiller accident working at Tri-City Speedway in Auburn. I want to take home put a pickle jar with some whiskey. Be a hell of a conversation piece. Well, it's been more than a year since the accident, and Pete here is back at the raceway working hard, putting his best foot forward, literally. This is actually like the fifth or sixth leg that I've had because my leg is actually healed up so quick. According to prosthetics, uh people there um, way past their expectations. Pete walked more than 175 miles on his last leg and is working part-time at the racetrack he loves. I haven't missed any races yet. He's nearly 100%. He sometimes has phantom pains where his foot should be. Well, like a muscle cramp or like somebody shooting electricity through your foot. Uh, okay. Somebody hitting your toes with a hammer. Wow. It only lasts for a couple seconds and it's gone, but then it hits you again and then it's gone and it's... It lets it, you know you're alive. He says there's nothing secret about how he's recovered so quickly. God's got a special plan for me, and he ain't fulfilled it yet. Because I've been kicked around. I've been in numerous car accidents and motorcycle accidents. Uh, I've been around, kicked around. So he's got plans for me. And through it all, Pete like still kept his sense of humor. I think I remember you wanted to keep the foot in a jar. Yeah, I still bunged me out. Reporting in Auburn, Scott Walchek, WNEF, TV5.